Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare today and it is November 21st. Let's start off with some news from Denmark where four patients were actually awarded money for losing vision for taking drugs like Wagovi and Ozempic. In total, the four patients received about $125,000 altogether. Okay, now this next study shocked me out of the Journal of Herbal Medicine comparing garlic to typical mouthwash. This was a systemic review, so they looked at a bunch of studies, but they only included a few of them that met their criteria, and they found that garlic extract actually had similar antimicrobial properties compared to the standard mouthwash. However, they did mention that those that were taking the garlic instead of the mouthwash had an unpleasant taste as well as a more of a burning sensation in their mouth. I don't know about you, but I'm probably going to stick with the regular one. Before we get into the last two studies, if you want to help stay up to date with the latest medical and healthcare news, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack. You'll get links to all of the articles, you'll get a daily notification, and you'll help support me as a first-year medical student. New Zealand just announced starting December 19th, they will no longer be issuing new prescriptions for puberty blockers for minors. Interesting, they know that only about 113 people in total in all of New Zealand were using puberty blockers in 2023. And lastly, we have a cohort study this time out of JAMA looking at the Mediterranean diet and physical exercise and its impact on fat loss. They took 7,200 UK individuals, tracked them with DEXA scans and how much they were eating based off the Mediterranean diet, and here were the results. Each one standard deviation improvement in their actual diet ended up with about a half a kilogram reduction in body fat. And those who had a one standard deviation improvement in physical activity ended up having a 1.5 kilogram reduction in body fat. Researchers noted that this was important because not only is it just that their body weight went down, it was actually the fat went down by that amount specifically. And knowing that typically people tend to gain body fat as they get older, this was a meaningful improvement. That's all the major news for today. I will see you tomorrow and we're going to be doing a weekly summary.